Good afternoon and good evening to you all. It's your boy, Sean the Intercessor, and I'm just coming to you all with a part two of the spiritual dream that I had the other night. Um, and so fortunate, I had another spiritual dream this morning around the same time, 7 a.m., like yesterday time, when I got the first one. And this was an add-on to the spiritual dream that God, Holy Spirit, um, was giving me. Just want to let you all know that persecution is coming, especially to those that walk the walk of faith and decide to live according to God's will. Um, so persecution is coming. Um, and basically, the dream that I had was letting me know that persecution was coming to the church, to the body of Christ. Um, and it was always coming. Um, even my first lady um, at my church, my pastor's wife, um, confirmed it. So, um, persecution is coming to the church. And it is. And I just wanted to read a few scriptures to you all. Um, 2 Timothy 3 and 12 says, Indeed, all who desires to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Matthew 5 and 10 says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And Matthew 5 and 44 says, But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So you're going to have people that's going to persecute you. Just like persecution was going on in the Bible days when Jesus was walking the earth, persecution is going to happen. Because not everybody is for you. And the reason why is because you are called by God. And they're going to attack you because, that, because you believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ and you're sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. So don't be surprised if you get persecuted for that. So I just want to stop here and say this. In the season, whatever we are doing that is not like God, we need to put a stop to it. The lifestyles that we choose to live with that are not pleasing God, we have to put a stop to it. It's time for us to stand firm in our faith, and it's time for us to stop playing church, stop playing with God, and take the walk with Christ seriously. People of God, playtime is over, and this isn't just for you. This is a word for me, because persecution is coming, and it is. And it is time for us to stop playing and take this seriously. And I know many of you are saying, well, you're, you know, being too dramatic. No, I'm not being dramatic. If you have not noticed the signs by now with all of these viruses are just coming up and people think that we're going back to normal, well, I come to let you know this is the new norm now. We're not going back to it the way it used to be before COVID and all of this other stuff came. Persecution is coming. And now it is time for us to stand firm on our faith and get back in the word, get back in prayer, get back to fasting, live in a life that's pleasing to God. Playtime is over, people of God. It's time for us to get up and be everything that God has called us to be. And this is just the second part of the dream that I had. God re revealing this revelation to me that persecution is coming to the body of Christ. So receive this in conviction and love and not condemnation. God bless you all. And please share this with someone. Love you all.